Hello everybody, welcome back to Large Aquarium Simulator. The mods I have for you today are quite exciting. But tell me, do you ever feel like the basic vehicles in the game are just not that interesting? Like sure, you have your Seamoth, your Cyclops, and your Prawn Suit, and those are all well and good. But if you wanted some more, well today I have just the thing for you. We're gonna be looking at three different submarine mods, one of which can actually freaking fly. And some more, but first, let us start with the Cricket, a small spherical submarine built for rapid forward movement of person and cargo. And here it is, being constructed in midair. I think this one looked absolutely adorable when I first saw it. And there it is. I mean, look at this thing. Now, I actually love the amount of detail on this thing. Like, look, you can see all the scratches. There's some, like, green plant growth of, around the propellers. You have some gas tanks here. I mean, it looks a little old school for what one might find in the Subnautica universe. But let's compare it to the Seamoth here. I will do a nice side comparison at the end for everything but I'm just really curious like how exactly this stacks up yeah I mean you can see it is smaller than the Seamoth not by much but upon entering you get a sub that is definitely fast oh yeah I can tell you this is most certainly moving faster than the Seamoth it's not like a massive difference to where it would feel completely broken but like, I mean, look at the amount of height I'm able to gain. It does have functional lights as well, so I can illuminate stuff in front of me. Okay, so these are not specifically for the Cricket, but coming from the Vehicle Framework mod, which is also required for this, we have the Crush Depth module, so let's just see what this does. Okay, so that makes the Crush Depth 1100 meters. That's pretty good. So there you have it, guys. There's a little cute sub. You know, if you want to use something similar to the Seamoth that is faster, mostly for, you know, personal transport, maybe between bases and such, this is definitely a good choice. There's like a numpad at the bottom, I don't even know what that's for. Now, following our exploration, let's look at the Phantom Submarine, a medium-sized sub designed to navigate dangerous territory. And it's gonna crash right on top of my Seamoth. Look at this thing go. It looks freaking awesome right off the bat. So we have the officially licensed Altera Phantom Sub. Now, right off the bat, shape-wise, it looks a little bit like the Cyclops in a smaller version. Yeah, look at this thing. So it has these wings, but I don't believe this one should be able to fly. Uh, we'll find out pretty soon. Now, it seems like you can dock something here. We will take a look at that later, but first, Let's hop in. Now, the interior is fairly barren, but you know, you have your fabricator, you have your upgrades, so this vehicle battery and the upgrades panel, and you even have a bunch of storage. This is really nice. There's a lot of upgrade slots, you can tell. Oh, it is pretty fast, too. You know, I would say this is a pretty good mix between the Cyclops and the Seamoth. The obvious benefit to this submarine is that you can fit into a lot more, you know, narrow spaces. You know, like, I'm able to squeeze through areas here where I definitely would not be able to get with the Cyclops and it feels pretty comfortable. You know, obviously it is bigger than the Cricket or the Seamoth, but if you're looking for something that is large enough to accommodate a lot of stuff, like you can, you can bring a lot of stuff here with you. And yeah, if you're looking for something like in between these subs, this might be a great choice. Now, in terms of the grabby arms in the back, these can actually be used to accommodate for this bad boy. Yep, just like that. Your sub can carry your prawn around, no problem. I mean, I do wish you could enter the prawn suit through the door here. I think that would be really, really nice. I've often wanted a sub that kind of gives me a bit more storage than the Seamoth does by default, but doesn't quite take up as much space as the behemoth that the Cyclops is. So this might just be that stepping stone in the middle we've all been looking for. And now for our third submarine, let's take a look at the Wraith, a single-seater aircraft capable of great speeds, but of great underwater agility as well. Now, this thing is wicked. Right off the bat, you might be thinking that it looks a bit like a Seamoth on steroids, or maybe like a Manta Ray, and both of those would be correct. This is like the punk rock cousin of the Seamoth over there. It even has like two little ear fins. And not only is it, you know, very fast underwater and feels great, but to my knowledge, if you go fast enough out of the water, you can even freaking glide with this thing. How sick is that? 
Look at this. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. Okay. I want to try something. I want to try if I can jump out through the hole in the island and fly over it. Also, what incarnation is this? Uh, yeah, let me quickly do the jump and then I'll explain myself. Let's let's see if this works. Woohoo! And we're off. Holy crap, guys, look at this. And we are flying at freaking breakneck speeds. If you go fast enough, this thing will work like a proper aircraft. So now you can fly around the map and let's see if I can hit right back into the island. I might end up impaling myself. Oh god. Alright, so since we have our cool epic submarine, I figure we might as well do a few map modifications uh, so that we have something fun to explore. Um, now, these are a few packs, including the Island Plus, Lava Zone Plus, a World Plus, Map Editions, and Beta Island. Um, and I kind of want to go check out what any of this is. I basically just found these randomly on the Nexus. This one definitely worked. Uh, the island now has like a little crescent shape at the top. Woo! Oh my god, my sub! I bought- I, I quite like the shape to it. It looks very epic. Here's a little point. Um, don't jump out of your submarine while in midair. It will proceed to stay there. This sub is so freaking cool, by the way, just whizzing around the map like this is absolutely amazing. Now, I do want to show you what the lava zone looks like because it is pretty wild and I'm going the wrong way. But like, good grief, look at that. Also, I'm not really sure why it says ready on my screen, but what, what am I looking at? I mean, it makes the map look very menacing. Hi, Siember, the cube. TM. But heck, if you're looking for some like random pillars and stuff around your map, you know, just something to liven it up a little bit if you've seen it a thousand times, this could be a mod for you. Some of it even looks like it's melting. That's kind of cool, I suppose. And there are cubes. There's, there's multiple cubes everywhere. All right, now I think the final thing for us to do is to do a nice bit of a lineup to see the vehicles kind of compared to one another. And all right, here you have it. This is the full fleet of vehicles with our new mods. And honestly, I think they fit in pretty well. You have the Wraith and the Cricket if you're looking for something small and fast. The Seamoth is obviously standard. Then you have the Phantom if you're looking for a nice crossover between. And obviously, you have the absolutely ginormous Cyclops, you know, if you need a full mobile base effectively. But I think these three expand the roster nicely. Now, whether you want to say the Wraith is a little overpowered because he can fly, that's perfectly fair, but still, I think these are pretty cool, and I hope you guys think so as well. With that, make sure to check out the plushie, guys. There's only like a day left or so by the time this comes out. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, all the modelings are in the description, and maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All this would be very much appreciated. And with that, I'm gonna see you all in whatever next video I make. Bye-bye.